Okay. The pizza mem dalit. Noon dalit. Mem dalit. Mem dalit. 44. That's the one you were really excited about. Yeah, excited about this one. I don't think we're going to finish it today. But, um, very exciting insights. Um, just to um, give a little bit of uh, overview, <coughs> he's um, looking at this from the perspective <coughs> that basically everybody, everybody is turned on by something else. Everybody? Everybody is excited by something different. In other words, people are going to, uh, every personality, every neshama is its own unique uh, tziruf. It's like a, like a, a combination of midas. And you're, everybody's drawn, because of that, everybody's drawn in a little bit of a different direction. So there are different things that are... A person is this oider. We talk about this oider, right? The person is supposed to be awakened. They're supposed to be... They feel like uh, an awakening a certain... Uh, uh, something that moves them, or something that, that, that moves them to action, moves them to, to put some kind of feelings. So all of these things... Our, uh, anyway, um, Some people are just loud with the vocal cords. Yeah, I don't realize how loud they are. Anyway, um, that's my problem, is I, I talk very softly by nature, so I have to make an extra effort to try to project. Okay, anyway, so... So, um... I can bring you a, a, a small uh, speaker, a loud speaker. No, it no, is no. For three people? No, no, no. Y yes, in one person. <laughs> He'll hear me from there. Okay, so everybody has their own specific uh, uh, combination of, of beauties, and that causes them to be affected and impressed by different things that uh, order them to action, to feeling, to you know, want to do something. So, um, because of that, when a person, if, you know, ideally, if a person was trying to carve somebody, or even give a, a shear, let's say, they would be able to customize it to each person individually according to what's going to, you know, what's going to move them, what's going to impress them. Unfortunately, what usually happens is, you know, people try to, to, to that they're a clown, whether it's in, in entertainment or it's in cure or anything else, they tend to uh, try to reach the, 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 the broadest common denominator, the, the, the things that's going to oppress the most number of people. But very often that's kind of a superficial, you know, kind of a uh, you know, broad, uh, broad reach, but it's not targeted and, and, and uh, focused enough to necessarily hit somebody really really to the heart, but they're trying to find something that's going to appeal to, you know, a larger perspective. Now, you can see, for example, different people, you know, different people have been successful in Q, for example. People, uh, some people are drawn to one more than the other. I mean, you've got people that are excited by, uh, by, uh, what's that, Amon Yitzchak. You've got somebody else that's not impressed with Amon Yitzchak, but he's impressed with, uh, with, uh, what's his name? So, um, I have a guy in this in our perspective also that's like that. What? The, the guy in our perspective told me. It's also like that. And he, 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 he always had the best message. It's like, he's like, in your ear. I'm not sure if it's, do they want to just, uh, you know, it feels good for the lungs or they can't hear? <laughs> they can't hear it. Then away. <laughs> anyway. Um, this is a nice voice of this. You know, the guys like that and, and they, they can't carry a tune, it's really a problem. Oh, Okay. What's up? Um, okay. So what, so what we're talking, so, so you know, there's Ben Elbaz, there's various people, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Kinds of people. Anyway, Uri Zohar. Zohar, right. So everybody's got their approach, and everybody attracts a different oilum. And some people attract a big oilum, some people attract a small oilum. But whatever it is, it's it's you know there's a reason for it. So he's he's kind of going to deal with that. What's the shoyish? What's the what's what's behind that? 
So he says, I'm certainly quite a masculine. So, the Nikoyrach is, the Nikoyrach is the Gematria Shin Ayin, which we know is the Shin Ayin, the Hoyrin, which is the 370 lights which come down from Zerantin, and that's kind of just a general idea of the illumination of the Chayas, you know, the life force. When we talk about the Shin Ayin, the Hoyrin, that's like everything's lit up, everything's illuminated, and it's really bright, and you know, it's, it's a, a, an idea of you know, getting to that point so that everything becomes clear and, uh, and illuminated. Okay, so the Bnei Koyach is it's maramas to several different Bechinas in the Shin Ayin So the Shin Ayin is like Shin Ayin Lights. Lights, Shin. 370 lights. 370. 370 lights. The matter of Shin Ayin. Which is also the matter of Bnei Koyach. So if there's 370 lights, so I guess that can be interpreted as 370 different types of lights. So it's like the, the person has three different, 370 different ways that person can be enlightened. Right? So there's all these different bechinas. And, 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 and he says that okay, everyone is, 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 is in a, is become, comes to this level of zivig, of a zivig zuchan a cable where things really connect. And you've got this mishpir makabel type of thing, where a person able to be makabel from somebody else. So, so that, that implies a certain uh, coming together, like meeting of the minds, whatever. It's like a, a, a feeling of uh, reciprocity and, and, and uh, we're both in the same wavelength, that kind of thing, right? So how do you achieve that? It's by locking into that particular one of the Shinai Mahoyden, which is which is a, a Tzada Shogun between me and you, so to speak, right? So it's like it's the way we connect. Okay, so in, in order, so in order for the this is Zivigam Yale Yufa. So what's the idea of Zivigam Yale Yufa? The Zivig between these two people, or whatever, or two Bechinas, whatever they are, in order for them to get together and it be a, a beautiful thing, you know, the Matzliya, the Shri, so there has to be some, some kind of a Tzad HaShoba between them, you know, some kind of an area in which they connect. And the idea of uh, connection is the idea of Yisod. Yisod is the leader of connection. So that's that's the idea of, of this, uh, is, 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 uh, is, is referring to the leader of Yisod. And he says this is also according to the idea of Shir. It's also the idea of, of song. As we know, there are many different types of songs, and there are also different people who relate differently to different types of music or whatever, different songs that affect them more than others, you know. But again, there are some that affect more people, some that affect fewer people, but everybody has their different likes and dislikes. And but what affects them? Because what does it mean that you're affected by a song? It's, it's a totally emotional thing. It's a totally subliminal, you know, uh, subconscious kind of thing. Why this is one person affected by a song and someone's not? You know, why one person is and one person not? Because it's a... It's like if a song becomes popular, so that means that it affected a lot of people. But that doesn't mean that a song that's not so popular can't affect a few people even more deeply, possibly than you know. It's just some people are, are you know people like the like classical you know, composers that are known by just a very very small group. You know that are very uh, it's a kind of a niche group. But those people really love that you know that composer. They're all after that person. I mean, somebody else you know, don't see anything at all. Anyway. So he was, so it's talking about the Zadig in the mouth of the Imam Shittik as a Hasid in the mouth of the Shahid of his video. The Aliyah de Zed, he took him by Hagavidus. He did not eat him by Hagavidus, he took him. So this, this idea of, of, they talk about, it's interesting that, that the little Hina of the Vim, this Pasha talks about the Vim and the Shir. The Vim. The Vim. The Koyak of Shir. The Vim with Mitzarek Vuda. There's a certain idea that the music, the shir, is connected with the meaning of gvura. But, but, the, but through their, because their gvura was the idea of a gvura, was, which is nimtukas, which is, which is sweetened, which has already been corrected or fixed or whatever, it's been, it's been, by, its, by its encounter with chesed, it's been tamed, you could say. It's been like, like uh, now it's, it's, it's become a positive force as opposed to a negative force. The, the din has been taken out of it, and now it's become the strength of it, it's become a, 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 an asset. The chesed. Now, now chesed and gvira are working together. It's because the chesed is misgaber on the gvira. That's the whole idea of the, of the akeda. Is that they took the, the chesed of Avrum and he was misgaber on the on the, on the gvira of Yitzchak, and that made Yitzchak into gvuras and tokas, and then it became all a positive force. So that's the, that's the idea of taking shear, the koya, the power of shear, because shear music is a, can be a very powerful thing. 
And just to have it, you know, chesed tends to be a little lot more on the weak side. It's like nice, and it's, it's flowing, and it's maybe beautiful in a certain way, but <clears throat> it has to come together with you to have the power and the strength that really drives it. <clears throat> so that's the idea of Rachamim, is, is, is uh, the idea of chesed and you get together. One and the Levian music was Kavura. What? The, the, mu- the music of the Levian. The Shoresh, right. And so that's Kibura. how they were able, so what, what's the idea, what's the tachlis of music in the Bisham Mikdash? It was to bring people to do tshiva. That was the whole idea. It says it says that 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 the the that the shear and the Bismikdash was ma'akiv the korban. Because you couldn't have the korbanis in the you couldn't be yoyt the korbanis in, in, in the Bismikdash without the shear of the It was such an essential thing. So, so why was it? Because that was what was more of the people to do tshiva. You say that when a person would bring the korban to a coin, um, before I think they slaughtered her, during the affecting of atonement, it would seem like one kind of name that would sort of like arouse the emotions, like in a sort of sad. And as soon as like they finished the the, the, the offering, they would sort of suddenly the conductor like switch the song to make like happy, so that now he's uplifted. So ah, it was like right sort of an emotional. Uh, Did you see the light boy man? You know the hadluka is like boy It's very serious songs, you know, leading up to the hadluka. You know, as soon as he lights it, I mean, bursting out of his right, yeah. like, you know, the gunim and dancing. You know. yeah. It's a very, it's a very uh, powerful thing. <clears throat> even even by classical music, this idea that different movements have different moves, right. and and uh, you know usually then they try to end up with something more labor more labor-based. The idea of grinning Jews playing songs and singing as they cut the throat of beasties, most of the world won't take that. <laughs> they won't take it. They won't take it. No. While they while they are doing ten times and dressed in white aprons and without shoes and running, around, they won't take it. That's the most That's humane way to kill an animal. I know. Well, it's not it's not for them. Okay. So. <laughs> that means no, they the won't fact is, it's not totally true because because the fact is that Goyim in the times of Mesopotamia used to come and they brought when they brought kobanis. And they were very impressed with what was going on in Mesopotamia. Today, you know, people are into animal, animal rights. Animal rights. No, don't worry. They'll they'll see, they'll see the truth. They'll see the truth. But, but the there won't be. Not, they won't be. The uh, they won't be there. They won't be. No, they won't. They won't be the carbonus when the when the when the I believe when the when the gula comes, it's all going to change dramatically. We will. There we won't will be, be changes, but not necessarily right away. In other words, there's an idea we're going to have. We're going to need carbonus at the beginning at least to do the carbonus and everything else that I needed. But that, after that, it may be a little too. Anyway, um, okay, so so through the meter of Yesoid, which is this idea again of connection, so and and the, the, the idea of the Gavuris being nimtic, this is all connected. He's learning this all out from this first pasuk yeah, of the Sefer Yikoyach Maskil. Maskil, Maskil is Yesoid, and the Yikoyach is the Shnei Nachayim. Okay, I'm not saying he said he's Malchus, so the Shechina. Can I ask you something though? Yeah. It's like, it was, every time I say Islam Matzeh, does it mean the same thing? Or it's contextually based on the, the capital of the uh, I'd have to look through all of them again. Because what I mean is, like, how is he learning after the like, one where, like, is there coming to a kind of system where he has some kind of Ruch Kodesh that he received? That he he had a lot of Ruch Kodesh, number one, that's for sure. <laughs> but um, but things are also contextually, uh, you know. So in different places, Islam Matzeh may be different things. It could be, it could be. I'm not sure, but it, I think that this is pretty consistent. I don't remember exactly, but uh, it's interesting because the word maskil usually refers to intellect. Maskil yeah. seichel. So you think it would be more chachmah bina, that kind of thing. Here you're saying that it's. But you have to understand, in terms of kabbalah dera klau, things are extremely contextually, you know, uh, affected by all kinds of consistency. It has some consistency, but you know, what I'm saying is, is that everything is relative. There's, there's when you, when you're looking at things from bottom up and bottom down. And, 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 you know, it's, it's completely different, and it, it kind of, and there's the idea of mitzad of the kabel, mitzad of the So it's like mitzad of the So because we're looking at it from totally different angles. So when you're looking at an object from a completely different angle, you're going to see a different that's inevitable. If you didn't, there's something wrong. Because it's it's uh, and you're talking about Shivin Punim Latoyer and you're talking about Shama and Hillel. You know they're all looking at the same thing from a different angle, and and they get a completely different perspective on it. So it's just uh, just the way it is. Okay, so uh, but you know El Kim is always going to be Din, you know, and uh, it's usually Chesed Rachman, and then the Kael could go either way. This is this, 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 this.
Okay, so um, yeah, so So that's so he said because of that, because it's through um, through the idea of uh, of the soy, he's making this connection. So he says that in another context, it, it said first first um, maskil and then leave nekoyach when it had to be that way. But in this case. In this case, he says, it's Lide Korach first, because first, they were, he was Mamshev <coughs> from the, from, from Kesa, the, the Shin Ayin, from that level, and then afterwards, and then through that, he came to this level of uh, Moscow, Moscow afterwards. So, uh, the, 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 the order of the words is also to the significance here. Anyway, Elohim be Ozneini Shomani Abuseni Sipiduni. This also says an amazing, amazing thing. He's going to say some really interesting stuff. That that the idea of bringing down the Shinai Nahor and this this, this uh, illumination to Malchus. Okay. In order to do that, how do we do that? So we do that by 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 telling the Nifluis of Hashem. You know, so so he's basically how how do you want to if you want to carve somebody if you want to you know bring down some mysterious illumination how do you do it tell about the influence Hashem whether it's stories you know like this this whole thing right, is about stories of Hashem Prophets right you read it and you feel a certain mysterious <laughs> you know wow you know what happened so and so and it's it's very it's it's, it's, it's people like the whole to right you, and, and a lot of Tillam are also dealing with the voice of Hashem. Even people talk about the voice of Boy, they just do the nature and the natural things. That's the kind of thing that get people. You're not going to the car of a person by telling them to do chuba. That's not generally what's going to happen. If you don't do chuba, you're deferring. Right, that for sure. Right? So that's not the way you know that you're going to turn them off. You're, you're, you're the, if you talk to them about Hashem and get them and get them, you know. Get them, uh, bring them in. You know, how do you bring a person in? There's always the idea of min milsa, the bikusa, but there's the idea also of like, telling a story. Everybody wants to hear a story, you know, your own personal experiences or what happened on the soul, all this kind of thing. So that's that's the way to get. Them. So it says, yeah. the more says, Ein hasata ela You're only. It's impossible to convince anyone of anything without food and drink. Right. Which is why Hasidim, especially Chabad, have found. Forget about stories and uh, philosophy. It says it's impossible or it's hard? I wouldn't say Ain, it's, impo it's impossible. Ain, uh, uh, you can't put. Mashke and. No, no, no. no. That's, that's, that's how it's bring them in with that and then you get. Right, the then. It's not, it's not food Chabad. And drink. It's not Chabad alone that does yeah. that, by the way. Everyone does. All the, all, you can't sit down to, a, to a, a gathering of any sort without some kind of lechaim and like a lechaim. But. Um, but it's but then where do you go from there? You know, it's okay. That's the basic thing. You have to take care of the gashmas first. But then once you once you you know loosen up a little bit or whatever, break the ice, then you get my story. And they all do it. You know, they all, they all, it's, it's a very very common uh, technique. But here he's saying it's, 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 this is the this is the show you show. So he's saying that that so you, what you're doing is you're you're taking people that are that are to begin with they're on a, on a level of din of elakim. Which is kind of, which is kind of closed, right? Now the key is, is like, is like a shell. It's a sort of hardness. It's, it's, a, it's an inner, you know, holding inward, you know, holding back, inward, just like absorbing without giving, right? It's, it's not. It's, it's a, it's a shell. So in order to break that shell, we have to talk about the, the, the chesed of Hashem and the force of and then that's, that. That breaks through that, and there's another aspect is is the power of Hashem. The, the, the Shem Elikim is referring to the power of the Shem. The fluid the is through his So once you, you have to get that across as well. So, both sides. so he says, "Ein mishtam shen el of a So a bas, so the basko. He says, he says, he says, you don't. The basket has to do with, with speaking. That's with telling. It's got to, it's got to come through the voice. So the idea is that that's why he says, but but shomani, that there are, are the, the, the stories that are that are that our fathers told us. We heard them with our ears. So that's the idea of of of, 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 of a basket and show you this idea of a basket. And he says that that's the reason why you don't see that it's talking about reiya. It's not talking about seeing it, it's talking about, about hearing it. 
and uh, because we don't, he says we're, we're not masking the rule but with re'iya, which is interesting because you do talk about a, a, a poison, a zoyan, you know, the zoyan the, the, the people did see, did see, you know, images, they saw visions, but uh, but the main thing that they gave over was the call, they, they gave over the word of Hashem, what Hashem said, with more of an or, oratory type of thing, even though they may be talking about visions that they had, I mean, you've seen it, but what they're giving over is the terms of the call. So also the achidim of the others, and so we're also... The sound, isn't it in the bet din, the, the, the dayanim was supposed to hear and not see? Is that a not thing? see? To, to listen to the voice. Well, well it's, that's how the testimony was given. Was given yeah. voice. Whereas you can be deceived by sight, but you can't be deceived by hearing. There's something about that. So, so he says, the Achinim of the Ovos were on the level of Midas Adin. And Luni, for us, is Gematria Elohim. The word Luni, Lami, is Gematria Elohim. But it was. So the, the light was from, from Atika, from the, 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 from the Atika is like this ancient uh, light meaning from the very beginning, from the, from, the, from the very first days, that illuminated them. So Poyo Po Alta, the Mayhem Mekedim. So that's, that's coming from, the, the, from, from way, way back. It's like this ancient light that's shining, you know, from, from the very first times that, that's, that's, that we're trying to, to bring that down and, bring, and, and, and access that, that type of light. Um, yeah, so, loyal. So even though they were on a lower, a lower level, they weren't on the level of pun and pun, which is this face-to-face type of thing. It was not on the level of pun and pun. And and Malchus was at a level of din. Nevertheless, there there was that 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 the that it was mislabish, it was enclosed in this idea of, of uh, the stories and the din and that kind of thing. That's what things getting at. That's it. That these stories are coming down from that period, which even though it was on a lower level in a sense, it was, it was, it, it still is, is, is a power to illuminate us. So in other words, we could tell a story about a previous time, which wasn't standing necessarily on the level of, of, of you know, the Shemash Shri. And then the previous time, it was not such a good time. But even then, it still has a power to illuminate because it's coming back, it's, it's, it's encapsulating that kind of light. It's power just because time is time. Right. So, uh, so he said, uh, uh, according to that, so it says, Ato Yod Chagoyim Horash Tavei Tituen Tura Le'imim Tashalcha So according to this, so it says, Yod Cha Atu is Zerampin and Yod Cha is Malchus, so that's the Zidu, that's, that's the name the Shechina and, and, and the Midas, Atu is Zerampin and Yod Atu is, is one of those words that's in many different ways it's about every kind of words but, uh, but Yod Cha is talking about, uh, is talking about Malchus so he's talking about a that this that the the oil this this light of Atik, Atik is a lot of Keser, is coming down. So he's always talking about bringing down this light from the highest levels, even into the dark the dark areas. You know, trying to lunch, always trying to bring that down because that's the, that's the source. Right? Down from the source. So that is going to since we double Atik which is something that's very ancient, like you know, it has no. Uh, it's, it's, we can't put an exact date on it, but it's like it's way, way back. Is that infinite? Yeah, it's infinite. It's not infinite. I can't describe it where it's, you know, in terms of where it's coming from, but that's, that's uh, one of the very highest levels. I mean, I, I'd say everything is infinite in the sense that it comes from an infinite source and it's going infinitely long. It's, 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 it's the mamshik, so it's, it's an infinite koya. The only thing is that it's not infinite in the sense that you can't describe it at all. So some things are so intangible that it, it's so, so amorphous that uh, we can't even talk about it. Meaning it has an infinite source but it manifests itself in a finite way? It's, it, we're able to relate to it in some way, we're able to access it in some way and, and talk about it in some way. Something that's totally out of
thought about it. So, so because of that, even it, it has a limited crack, and because we're able to speak of it, it has some kind of um, it's a it's kind of a right, form, form a boundary or something. Yeah. The higher up you go, the less you can talk about it. Right. Chokhmah is like, like a schema, is like you know, so the chokhmah. The higher you go, the less you can say, but, but at least you know it's there. You have the name. You know, that, that's the idea that the or ain't soif is totally infinite, right? You can't say anything about it. But, but these mitzvahs of Hashem. Are also, you know, the shadows of Hashem are also manifestations of Hashem, which are infinite, but they they have a form. You say you can say you can look. You know, if you write it down, it has already a kedusha to it that you can't be nimtach. It's all you know, it's levels that you're doing. Anyway, so goy, so anyway, goyim harivashte. So he's talking about about inheriting the goy. Inheriting the goy. Yeah. So it says. That through this oida atik, the oida atik, we saw a few other places that the light of this atik yoyman is able to to totally push away the goyim. It's, it's, it's totally when, once that's revealed, the goyim can't stand up to it. It's like they they run away. They don't they, they don't have any any power to stand up in the face of that. So when you go back, let's give you, you know, you talk about this in the situations where Tzadikim met great Goyesha leaders, and the leaders were so impressed with them, they just couldn't say anything. It's like they were totally, I mean, there's a few cases where, I remember there's a case where Jimmy Carter, you know, President Carter, uh, uh, met with a whole group of rabbis, and he was just like so blown away by them. He just couldn't believe the, the power of the Kedusha was being. Yeah, uh, Jimmy Carter. Uh, Jimmy people. Carter, yeah, well, people. <laughs> And it wasn't known as being the biggest story you know. And uh, and uh, many times in history that, that people that met Sadiq and it's just the light of their faces, you know, they they, they they just look into their eyes and they just, you know, run away. And that's you know you can imagine when Hashem would choose to reveal himself what's gonna happen with it. I mean, he said the story about the Six Day War. The two thousand Jordanian soldiers were being held up by three sold by three Jewish soldiers, right? It's like it, it, when the light of Hashem is revealed. Battle. That's the story of every Jewish oh, And reverse. One of them will chase a thousand of you, or one of you will chase a thousand of them. You know, it says that in the military schools throughout America and the world, they don't study Israeli wars. There's nothing to learn from a miracle. Or like, take you know, military tactic, you can't learn from Israeli wars. Right. You can learn Hashem. <laughs> Actually, yeah. they did. They did try teaching a few times the Six Day War, the American uh, military academy, and they started to lose the soldiers. Several of the good people were Magaya. <laughs> they became yes. So they stopped teaching. <laughs> they stopped teaching. <laughs> <laughs> right. okay. It is. It is. I think that learn the light. You could see it. Uh, I mean, go back hundreds of years. Every powerful. King or monarchy or had a Jewish advisor, had yeah. a Jewish and advisor. still today. The Rambam had a the Rambam was a Jewish physician, but he had a lot of other roles. He was an astrologist. He, each like a sultan had him at his like uh, table. Every one of these leaders realized in Morocco there's some kind of a law that you have. They have to have a Jewish advisor. Yeah. Well, they, he, one of the Jew, one of the kings of Egypt, either a Jew or he was very very friendly to the Jews. And like he had changed like when the Jews when he was in power, the Jews were treated really well over there. Kushner. Kushner. Yeah, Kushner, absolutely. Well, Trump is convinced that Kushner is the Mashiach. As soon as he's convinced. Yeah, but even Obama, he had Rahm Emanuel. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Obama had Rahm Emanuel and all the. Yeah, no, his main advisor was the other guy, Axelrod. Right. His main guy. Not that they did any good, but. Not that they're good, like they are. Uh, <laughs> the difference is that. Kissinger, wow. Kissinger. Right. The trouble is with all those guys. It, it, to have an assimilated Jew, you know, on the top is not necessarily always a favorite. It's, 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 it's worse. It's a guy like George Soros. He's a yeah. Jew. What? And he's terrible. And he's terrible. terrible. He's acting literally a self-hating Jew. Jew. Just hates that. Terrible. He said he, uh, I think he said that even his parents were that. Because he like inherited. He was, was, I don't know if it was him or his parents, but he was one of those ones that was selling out Jews to keep himself alive. The fo he he said his 14th year, it was the happiest year of his life while he was telling the Germans the, all the property dividing in Hungary. Right, right, right. Because his father right. brought him into a whole right. situation. He almost corrupted the bank of England, I think. For like Not day. almost. He did. He did. And the bank, he, he made a billion dollars in one day and caused people to commit suicide because yeah. their pensions the were... Is the trouble is these people make such a bad name for us. Yeah. yeah. So too many of them, unfortunately. But he runs J Street and uh, Batsalem, he finances all these anti-Israel... It's terrible. It's really awful. Okay, anyway. 
the kitzer. So the shein. So he says that 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 tura um mishakim. That that the, the word tura, tuf resh ayin, is um, is the the gemachu with the milui of the shem abna. And abna is malchus, which is also din, right? So tura leimim tashachim. So with this koya. Um, what does ta- 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 Tara mean? A plot? Tara. You will do evil. Yeah. Tara. Yeah, so you'll, you'll, you know... Afflict better the Afflict, afflict the, the, the peoples and, and send them away. Instead of them sending us away, we'll send them away. Anyway, so Yeshua Lamed al is in the Yadcha. So it's 30, 34 letters is the, is the gematria of, that's in that, in that milui of, of Tufresh Ayin, Aleph. Um, which is the oasis of which is uh, 34 oasis of the word Yadcha, Gemachi Yadcha, and uh, it's so complicated. Gemachi is worked out there. Anyway, Kiloi Bechorav of Yoshi Oritz. So that they, okay, so this is this is a very interesting statement here. That Kiloi, it's not because they, they're not going to inherit the land of the sword. In other words, they're. The koyach, you can't do it. You can't do it the koyach. It's got to be through rachman. With the light of rachman, that's what's going to ultimately inherit the earth. It's not going to be through, you know, weapons and jihad, and, uh, jihad right, and all this stuff. It's not. It's, and also, the mitzvah you can't said force that, uh, it. And that's, the sword won't enter your land. Right, right. That's a very good point. It's, it's, it's a, it's a fight on Batira. So is we see that in all aspects of life. That you know, if you don't get a final solution by by the sword. It's gotta be now the fact is that sometimes some of the worst um, some of the worst things that have happened to us as Jewish people have been through those that didn't use the sword. I mean like Napoleon you know, it was really the, the, the heart of the, the beginning of the, of the assimilation in Europe and, you know, in, in America, the assimilation was going on. Some of the, some of the worst things were accomplished. They went over the Jewish neshamas through their soft words and yeah, their, exactly. mis- their, like, sort of pretentious compassion. Right. So that can be worse than the surgery. Right. It can work this is like Bilam. Way Bilam's... Uh, yeah, the blessings, the you know. Blessings. No, no, but uh, that uh, you use the daughters of Amalek or, or the, yes, you know, right, to right, Midian yeah. to, to, to seduce yeah. when they... Right. So, yeah. so the idea is, bring, you know, we should do this in terms of bringing in the light from Hashem in terms of that. But don't think you're going to be able to force people into this place. So that's, that's uh, Zroyam lo Yashi Lomoy. So Zroyam is also a lotion of, of, uh, of force. It's not gonna, that's not going to save them either. You're not, not going to be saved by the sword. You're not going to not going to be able to force other people, you know, to do anything for the sword. So, so it comes to the moichim, the shleimus and the moichim. I mean, you, win, you win people over with their minds rather than their, in, their, in their hearts, not just not just you know, because they're afraid of it. So he lo imshi he lo kol moichim. So. What does he mean? It says, Loi Bechar Bam Yoshi Oritz is Royam Lo Heshi Alumoi, Ki Mir Chazoyach Abor Ponechel Ki Ritzisam. So, what really is going to work is this Or Ponechel, this Or the Penei Kuf, which is Keser, which is again this, this very high light. And Yimin uh, Cho is, is the Yin of Keser, or the Chesed of Arach Anpin, which is also, you know, this is Chesed of a very, very high, high uh, uh, level. And that's going to come down and again in the Shinai and the Hoyrim, and this is the elimination. So again, this is the, the Or Pnei, we're talking about the Or Pnei Hashem, the light of the face of Hashem. So that's talking about the, about the, they're going to, that, is, that the Or Pnei Hashem, the, the Or Punim of Er Arach Anpin, which is the highest level of, of Keser, is going to come down and, and is going to look onto Zer Anpin. It's going to be like, it's, it's the idea of, of turning towards us, you know, like Hashem turning his face towards us and be Mashpia, his light onto all the other Midas. And then it gets rid, and then the Sitra Achra can't, is not able to be Yoinik. The, 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 the Sitra Hapa can't get anything then from these high levels because they have basically been, it, again, it, where, the, where the light is so strong, so the darkness can't, it has no existence. It can't, it can't, it's only when it's coming from like a lower level, and then, or, or if there's some din involved, or if there's, see, where, where there's din, then the Sitra Hapa gets in, and that's why a virus is such a dangerous thing. Because when you even do, do a virus, that gives the Sitra Akhla Koya. 
It's like it says in more line, it says that the, the, the whole the whole highs of the central Africa is with the Lush and Hora that you can say. Because Dibber is such a powerful thing. And when you use Dibber for the wrong thing, or Nibble Pear, or any of these things that involve speech, that is that gives the Koyach to the Sitra Akhra and the the the, 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 the all the all these negative forces to get in there. And then they sap the Kedusha from so when, when it's it's this bright light that you know nobody can deny and it's just so obvious. And then everybody starts talking good about the Yidin. And even you win even even win, are able to win over the Goyim with this uh, it's like this uh, Huckabee, I think, is one of these uh, uh, American politicians. And he came to Israel and was talking about how the one day that the, that everybody had to see that God was involved in, in the history was when the, uh, was the Six Day War when the Yidin took over the Khoisa the, the, the and all that kind of thing. It was like, it's just undeniable. Shem was, was, was revealing himself. There was no question about it. And how the whole, the whole thing turned around. That was, like, that was a very special moment. You know? Amazing. So, a man like Huckabee, he can taste the second coming. You uh, can taste the real it. religious uh, the right. second coming. Yeah. And uh, Pence. Uh, oh, like Pence. Pence. <laughs> 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 uh, they may be in for some surprises, but other than that, I think the only thing that the only way it can be resolved once and for all, if, if somebody comes up and they themselves recognize that this is Yashka coming back, and then he is Makhni himself the Mashiach, then Say there won't again. be any questions. If, if, if somebody comes up, yeah. is, is, is resurrected, let's say, and, and all the Goyim and all the, all the Christians uh, uh, acknowledge that this guy is Yashka, he came back, right? And then Yashka goes and he's, he's, he subordinates himself to, to, to the Yiddish Mashiach, the real mm. male Mashiach, that will happen. You know, other than that, they're still going to have the no, sure. he's going to come back and he's going to overthrow Mashiach and everything else. If he himself comes back, there's not being himself. When Mashiach comes, the whole consciousness will change. The light, or the very light, the Oregon news will be. You know, the, Let's hope so, but they, they, you never know. It, it depends on if the Irish wants to give Koyach to the Sitrafi even at that point or not. That's the question. Because there are a lot of going. This is, uh, one of the books talks about how after Mashiach comes, they're going to they're going to they're going to come and rebel against Mashiach and, and, and destroy the Mishnah. Which, which books? Which yeah, books? They got these uh, revelations or something. Oh. Like yeah, but that's them. That's yeah, not, but I'm uh, saying if they have the Mionis like that, who's written in their books like that, then Mashiach for them, a Yiddish Mashiach, is not the end of the story. So something has to happen that they shouldn't have those Mionis. Because otherwise, you know... The Zohar says the rule of Rome will convert the Magyans. It's generally taken to be referring to the Pope. If the Pope became a Jew or Ger Toshav, a non-Jewish Ger, it also would affect things. Yeah. Well, they're not all, the, not all of them hold by the Pope. I just read recently that they, he said Kaddish at his funeral, the, the, the Cardinal of Paris, what was his name? The, he, he was, was Jewish. Jewish. He was Jewish. And at his funeral in the Vatican, they said Kaddish. They said Kaddish? He asked, yeah, they said Kaddish. He asked that they should say Kaddish? Yeah. Yeah. What is his name? Uh, Jean, uh, I know, a uh, Jewish Cardinal of Rome. Uh, he considered himself Jewish. He considered himself Jewish, Jewish, yeah. His father came to his So many Christians. No, especially he, he grew up in the Holocaust. He, was, he grew up in the Holocaust. Right, right, right. I think his brother you know, went back to Yiddish guy and he didn't. So. Yeah. Anyway, he was, they were even thinking of him for the, to be a pope. He was, yeah, he was. Uh, yeah. The he died quite young. He was like 70 or something, yeah. 75. So anyway, so so we're talking about him. This, this light is going to dispel all of the uh, all the opposition. And um, because it's coming through this real level of the Shinai and the Hoyrin, it's going to be very obvious. It's, you know, whenever we talk about, about light in this context, we always talk about a, a clear kind of a clarity of vision that people can see really what's going on. There's no, no questions, no doubts. Then it says, the well, So that's the Shias Yaakov, is the Shinai. No, the, the word Yishios. Is again the Shin Ayin is the root of that word. Shin Ayin is, is, uh, is, uh, is the, the core of the, of the, of the words of, of Yeshia. So that's so, so that's the Shin Shin Ayin the uh, coming down from the from from Shin Yaakov, which is you know the Shin Shin of uh, which is also the root of the Zechariah. Yeah, because it's there. Kefiris is Yisrael. Yeah. The Chutz Reini Ninageach. So. 
So he's saying that um, the who is Oisius, who base is who base Oisius. So Reini Nagreach, that's the zero of the Sitra Achra. So Reini is our enemy. So we're, we're so we're going to, you know, stech the enemy. We're going to we're going to we're going to get rid of the enemy. So he says, says so he says the, the, the we're asking there, we're requesting from from, the, from, from Hashem that he should be again mamshik the shenai nohir, and he should bring down these these uh, these lights to the zochin akeva. And through that, we will be able to be makhaniya the sitra. And in kar, the karnei, this is the horns, right? Who's that? Oh, the karnei re'em karnav. It's bringing from, from Dvurim, the person of Dvurim. The karnei re'em karnav. The, the, so when you talk about nageya, you're talking about, you know, uh, what's it called? The... Uh, Goring, right? Goring the Sitra Akra with horns, right? So they go back to the Pusik in in uh, in Buddha and call the Kane Re'en Karnov, the horns of the of the ram. And that's the Karne is Gematria with the oasis Shinayan. With the, so again it's a reference to the Shinayan. The Re'em is also a unicorn, right? Or... Oh the aim is a, a unicorn? Uh, yeah. I thought it was like a, a big uh, the, the, the ram Mount, yeah, maybe in modern Hebrew. Uh, yeah. 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 um, so that's talking to the Shinai Nahoyan again. That's going uh, to And that's again the Shimcho, the Shem Kuf, so again the, the, uh, the Shem of Keser, who is going to, is going to uh, save us. Shimcho of his commandment. And now he goes back again to that, that theme that I'm not relying on my uh, on, on the keshes on, on the literally the, uh, uh, the, the arrow and um, the chad was shame and I realize that my sword is not what's going to be what's going to save me and I'm totally the total of Hashem. So so he brings it down here in some way. He says we can't even have the tuchen in our own schism. We can't even trust our own skis because we can't feel that because we did we don't we can't feel like we deserve it. You know, we're gonna deserve the ultimate the ultimate the ula. That that has to be he says he, that trust in Hashem is but he, but he says it's gonna rather it's going to be on the basis of bringing down the the Bimamsha the Chesed Kushiris and Tishbukas. See, he, he said he's got a whole explanation of this. I don't think we have time for it now. Out the shoes of his here. He's he's. Uh, I think it's from the Lakim Yilam and Kol Hayoyim, the Shem from the Oilim Lam Madisela. Because of the fact that we're, we're he has a whole explanation. Well, we have to cut off here, but now, but the next time, this is what really, was really what impressed me so much is that is that he's got a whole. <laughs> It's a whole discussion for itself, but he's, he's talking about here a whole difference between the avoider of Torah and mitzvahs, you know, a person like a tzaddik who's involved, who has all these schism built up, as he took the term as he did, as opposed to sitting and davening all day. And the davening itself, but just singing the shirs and touch of Hashem, has the koyach to be able to bring down this, this, this light which is going to bring the uh, it's, it's like two different avoiders, so he analyzes the other avoiders. It's, it's Okay, like so this time, you get into the amusement park, and you're like, one ride you want to go on, and you get in the rides closed. The one Thank ride God. Is like 20 rides. Wow. Like, but all of this is a preparation to that. So, um, uh, 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 it's a cliffhanger. Is no. This is a Sunday. So it doesn't affect us at all. Yeah, it doesn't affect us. Okay, so this is Sunday. 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 S